everyone. Good evening. How are you tonight? I hope you're doing well. Let's talk about relationships and mental and emotional health. How important are you to you? Are you in a toxic relationship with someone else or even with yourself? Are you putting yourself first or are you allowing others to use you first? Sometimes because we're creatures of habit, we'll stay in situations that are not comfortable nor beneficial for our own health, well-being, or spiritual growth. You have to know when to distance yourself from toxic people. Sometimes that could be a loved one. Sometimes that might be a family member. Sometimes it might be a friend. Sometimes it might be your partner. Sometimes you might even have to divorce your old self. Yes, you can do that. Just like people change their relationships, they change their jobs, they change their attitude. You could do a 180 and change the way that you're conducting yourself. If you're not looking out for you, who do you think is? Well, probably nobody. So you need to be your own advocate, right? When you're in a relationship with someone outside of yourself, who is, who are you allowing to I'm not gonna lie, it could be really difficult leaving an uncomfortable situation. Oftentimes we get so complacent in shitty situations because we're used to them. Or we think we can't do better or we think we're no better. And that's not true. See, that's just a mentality of, woe is me, I'm, a, I'm a, a victim. No, let's change that. You're an overcomer and you're not a victim. You are someone with a testimony to share on how you have chose to uplift yourself for the betterment of you and your spiritual growth. Sometimes that means getting rid of people who aren't beneficial anymore. Breaking up with people that are not um, productive to your soul being. Sometimes you got to step away and love people from a distance. It doesn't make you a bad person because you break up with someone and start a new life of loving yourself. It's not a bad thing. See, sometimes we'll get so stuck in another person's perspective of our life that we'll stay in an uncomfortable situation and allow ourselves to be even more miserable because somehow we think being the martyr is going to help us? I said that as a statement and a question all at the same time. I don't, I'm, I don't know, life sometimes can be challenging. It really is. You have, you have challenges within our own self, challenges within the community, don't bring it into your dating life too. Look at the people around you. Sometimes it's better to be alone than to be with somebody who is not equally yoked with you. Sometimes we're in relationships for a really long time. A really long time. Could be decades, years, however long. And you say, well, I've dedicated all this time to this relationship and this person. And although I'm not happy and I'm quite miserable, I'm going to stick it out because I've been in it so long. What are you sticking out? Your fist? Is that what you're trying to do? How is sticking in this relationship beneficial to your soul house if you're miserable every day and clenching your jaw and making a fist and saying, ooh, this bitch... <laughs> you know, I mean, for real, sometimes you got to step away and it's hard. Sometimes breaking up with people is hard. Sometimes breaking up with your old self and your old ways is even harder. But you know what? It's necessary. You could do it. You got this. Don't let other people dictate your life. Don't let your negativity dictate your life either. Don't self-sabotage yourself by saying, woe is me, I can't do it, I deserve nothing better. Stop. Yes, you do. Get yourself right. And then watch how things fall into place. 
Have a good night.